Good evening, they said Tina. I should say good night. Oh no, good evening. Okay. Um, they they uh, this uh, exercise is about just play the shopping cart. So far, see here, the shop the here always say no item in the shopping cart. But actually, in our database, we have item in the shopping cart, right? So what we're gonna do is display the item in the shopping cart. How to do that is go to uh, first we check. Why is this page? Which is when I click here, it should it will go here, right? So we check what's the link handle this one. Okay. And we're gonna go to slash cart. So we go to our router shop and find this one, right? Slash cart and get a cart. Okay. So here which obviously which is this part doesn't get any values, right? And uh, how to get the values? Why is the shopping cart stored? It's inside the user, right? So here we are using request the user. Okay. And uh, here has some problem because when we store our shopping cart in the database for the product, here is the object ID, which means uh, here in our cart, all of them, the thing here is the object ID. It doesn't have other information about the product, but in our page, which is a uh, card EJS, we have to display title price. Okay. And we only has ID. What should we do? Right? How should we do? Yes. Uh, we have to do there's uh, one thing called uh, populate. Okay. This is a method inside the mongoose. Okay. And you tell, what kind which field you want to populate which means which field based on the id i will go and reach the uh grab all the data all the documents information from another collection what is here the one we're using is a card which is uh, here the card items dot product id okay card items and then go back product id And then we can do an execute uh, exec populate if I remember correctly. And after it's done, it will return a promise. Okay, what's inside a promise? It's the user. But this user here for the uh, for the item for this product, this product no longer only hold the product ID. It will hold the entire product object. What we can do is the console console dialog user user here. Okay, you will see later. And once we get a user, we are gonna do is to render right. How to get the cart? We using user dot uh, user dot what user dot item user dot cart. Sorry, user dot cart. Right use that cart and give back to the shopping cart and now uh, let's make a colon here and then we were using then method uh, catch method okay catch i'll do exactly the same as here okay okay and we still have to check our um ejs file because uh, because to retrieve the entire product, we have to use in product ID now. Okay, so let's go to this EJS file, card.ejs. Okay, so here uh, we get here no longer is a product uh, products because here we are using items. So here we are changing to be items. Okay, and also here has to be items. Okay. Uh, cart items length okay and uh, cart item i equals product which means each this one items this part become a product right this part see here uh oh, oh let me see let me see okay let me see let me uh wait, wait for a second wait for a second okay I probably I'm, I'm wrong. Okay, let's go to your controller. Uh, let's go to controller. Okay, 
the controller I give user dot cart. User dot cart is this an object, right? Is this an object? Okay, and then we go to our EJS file. Okay, go to our EJS file, which is uh, here. Cart represent the is object. Then I have to give uh, eh, this. Uh, here I have to eh, what happened? Oh, I have these two places. Here I don't have products. I should be using items, right? If items is zero, then display uh, no item. And uh, if this item, items, which is the entire thing here, uh, has, and uh, here th I, this item represent this entire thing, okay? And uh, this gonna be an item, not a product, okay? This is gonna be each item, okay? Each item, and now how to retrieve the product? We have to using each item dot product ID. Okay, yes, okay. Because previously, when we execute the populate inside the, not the routes, okay, In, uh, inside a shop, okay. Inside of this shop, inside this shop when we do populate okay this part it's gonna it's gonna uh where's my model where's my model okay user when we populate where's my model user okay then here is no longer is a single product id it's gonna contain the entire product object that's why e this card item i equals each at each of object here and in order to get the title you have to using each item product id then dot title and same thing for others for the price and for the quantity we can just say using each item okay and for the do I have others? Total price. Total price. We just using cart dot total price. Okay, that's it. So let's see if it works. Okay. So we go here and when we we just do a refresh. And here it is say product not found. Okay, which is on the delete part. Okay, we will go and fix that. Why it is? Let's uh, let me make it larger. Okay. Where's my delete button, which is here. Okay, we should be using, we should be using each item product ID, each item product ID dot underscore ID. This part should be underscore ID, okay. And now let's see, refresh. Now it works, right? It is show the each item and the title, price, quantity, okay. Good and the total price. Everything is displayed successfully. Okay, so let me go back and uh, uh, do a summary. Okay, so what this is doing is when we trying to get the display the shopping cart, we have to display the product information, right? Product information. But in our database here, we only store the product ID. So while we do this step. Populate, which means ask, ask Mongoose to based on the product ID, go to products collection table to grab all the document based on each product ID here, okay, in our database, okay. Then all your, the entire product will be associated to, oh, uh, sorry, uh, user, the entire product will be replaced here. Previous is object ID, okay, which is product ID here. Previous. Now it's gonna re now it's gonna re replace entire product document to here. That's why in our EJS file, you have to using you have to using this way. Like uh, this each item is gonna represent the uh, document stored inside uh, your items, okay, and you have to use product ID dot title because here we're using product ID, okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, the last video of today, I'm gonna do a delete here, okay. So bye bye.